Hi everyone, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online and I want to welcome you to day four of the challenge. I'm so excited you're joining me. Now today's workout is going to be focusing on cardio and we're going to be doing a specific workout that is called HIT. And it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. So what that means is we are going to be doing a cardio exercise and I've got lots planned for 45 seconds. And then what we'll do is we'll take 15 seconds of bringing our heart rate down and slowing it down. All right. So I encourage you to really listen to your body. Now, if you are just a beginner, you may want to do my beginner options. So I'm going to be giving you two options as we go. And one of the second options will be to make it a bit more intense. So if you've been with me before, you've done of these challenges, you're a rec regular exerciser, you may choose to do the advanced option. But because I'm not with you, I really encourage you to listen to your body. Just do what you can. And if you need to, take a break, have some water, and uh, really keep moving though. <laughs> I royally encourage you, keep those feet moving, even if you need to slow it down. All right? So we're going to have a fun 15-minute workout. Let's get right into it. And I encourage you to get started with me. All right, so we're gonna start by marching on the spot, pump those arms at your side, and you will notice right now my feet are pretty low to the floor. So you don't have to lift very high. Now, if you wanna make it a bit more intense as we're going, then just lift those knees a bit higher. All right, very good. So I encourage you to breathe in, breathe out. Let's add those arms out to the side. Inhale here, and exhale, hands together. Inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale all right good so we're going to be doing some great moves today now first of all we're going to take a few side steps to warm up the side of our body now if you don't have much space you're also working in a small space today don't worry <laughs> these are all apartment friendly exercises you don't need too much room around you all right, so swing those arms, take that side step. Now, if you do have uh, osteoporosis, any, any medical in issues, any past injuries, just make sure you listen to your body as we go. All right, good. Keep on breathing. Awesome work. And we're gonna get moving into our very first exercise. We're gonna start with a nice march on the spot. And in between each exercise, we'll be doing this one here, our side steps to bring that heart rate down. All right, so when you're ready, let's get ready here. We're gonna move into that march and we're gonna speed it up. So here we go. You may choose to keep your feet low, going a little bit faster, or lift those knees a little bit more. Now watch your posture, shoulders back, standing tall, pumping those arms at your side. Good, and advanced option, you can speed it up, doing a jog on the spot. Beginner option, you can keep those feet moving, but go a little bit slower. Please listen to your body, you got this. Breathing in and out as we go. All right, we're almost there, 10 more seconds. Keep it up, we wanna get that heart rate up. Five seconds left, four, three, two, one. All right, take a side step. Whew. And just notice, is your heart going a little bit faster? Yeah, yes or no? <laughs> if not, maybe it's time to go push yourself a little bit more. And then if it's gone up, just monitor where you're at. All right, good. So taking that side step, side to side. All right, so we're gonna be moving into our next exercise. It looks like this. We're gonna do a lift, lift, tap, tap. Lift, lift, tap, tap. Lifting the knees, lift the knees, tap the toe, tap the toe. Lift, lift, tap, tap. So the beginner option is to follow along, maybe holding onto something for balance if you need to. The advanced option is to speed it up. Good. This is good for coordination as well. All right, almost there. Keep on breathing. Good, three more seconds. Three, two, 
and one. All right, we'll finish this one. Why not? <laughs> All right, take your side step. Great job. Great job. Swinging those arms, breathing in and out. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is called the jumping jack tap. Don't worry, we're not doing full jumping jacks, but I'll show you what I mean. Option one is actually reaching up to the side, tapping your toes nice and wide. Option two, you're gonna get your heart rate up, is hands over your head. All right, so here we go, come and join me. Breathing in and out, we wanna go at a good pace again, get that heart rate up. All right, 45 seconds of movement. All right, good. Now, if you have a heart condition, do what I'm doing. Keep those arms at heart level, no higher. Advanced exercisers, let's see it. You got this. This is a really good cardio workout. All right, we're almost there. 10 more seconds. All right, excellent job. All right, there we go. And let's slow it down. Take that side step. Woo, all right. Good job, good job. Make sure you're breathing. All right, again, notice how's that heart doing? How's that heart doing? All right, the next one we're going to do are the kickbacks. So come and join me. Option one, hands on the hips. Give your arms a break. You want to think about keeping your knees pointing towards the floor kicking towards your bum. Option two, again, to get the heart rate up for those who are advanced, press those arms up towards the ceiling. You'll notice my legs are nice and wide and this makes it a little bit more gentle for your knees. All right, now it's low impact. So that means there's one foot always touching the floor. So this is very gentle for your joints. All right, keep on going. You can hear my squeaky floor. <laughs> All right, almost there. Three, two, and one. Take that side step. Woo! All right, we're doing great. We're doing so good. Now the next one we're going to do involves crossing the body. So working on coordination, working on different parts of the brain. All right, good. So now we're gonna move into that next exercise. Option one is to bring your hand to your opposite knee. Lift your knee just as high as you can. You can join me now. Option two is elbow towards the knee. All right, now if you have osteoporosis, face the front of the room. Watch that you don't do too much twisting. Good. All right, and again, we wanna go at a good pace. We're focusing on cardio. Option one is this. All right, excellent job. All right, good, getting that heart rate up. Almost there, got 10 more seconds. Keep on breathing. Three, two, and one. All right, good, good. Take that side step again. We'll add a figure eight for those arms this time. Whew. All right, we're feeling good, feeling good. Now we've got one more, one more cardio exercise. Then we're gonna do these all one more time. All right, so here we go. This is what it looks like. We're gonna be continuing with our side step, tapping your toe in front and adding a punch. All right, so come join me. Come join me. So we're tapping in front, punching the same way. All right, good job. Now, if you want to just focus on the, uh, the legs, maybe balance is not your thing, <laughs> then you can just tap the toe. All right, really want to think about punching, punching side to side. Good job, looks great. All right, awesome work, almost there. Another 15 seconds. All right, another 10. Last five, three, two, and one. All right, good. Now let's take a quick break. Grab some water if you have it. Cheers to good work. 
So we're going to do these exercises one more time. I hope you're enjoying these exercises. Now again, this is called HIT training, high intensity interval training. And this is used with uh, people who are in their 30s and 40s quite often. So I've adapted uh, the format and these exercises so they're safe for you. But it's fun, fun to try something new. And if you like these, this video, I have a lot more high intensity interval training videos focused on cardio in my membership. So be sure to ask me how you can join. All right, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're gonna go to our march. So let's march it out, working at your own pace. Good job. Now the second round, second time round, we're gonna just do 30 seconds because I wanna make sure we can fit them all in right here. All right, marching it out. Maybe going a little faster if you're able to. Good job. Five more seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Take that side step again. Stretch it out. All right. Awesome. All right. The next exercise. Lift, lift, tap, tap. You know what to do. Lift, lift, tap, tap. Lift, lift, tap. Tap. Working at your own pace, remembering to tightening up the core, breathing, halfway there. Awesome work, almost there, five seconds. Two and one. All right, finish that off. <laughs> Side step, good, good. Now what I like about this type of workout is it seems to go by faster because you keep switching, keep switching exercises. You have a certain amount of time to do them in. Jumping jack taps, are you guys ready? Come and join me. All right, we're gonna be, oops, I was doing it wrong. Tap to the side, reach your arms out to the side, option one, reach your arms overhead, option two. Good, this is also a good one for those hips. And I know here in Ottawa, we have lots of snow and ice on the ground, <laughs> maybe where you are too. So we really wanna think about how can we strengthen our, our body and doing cardio and doing standing exercises is a really good way. All right, we're almost there. Five seconds. Gotta keep on going. Three, two, and one. All right, take that side step as we transition. Woo, breathing in and out. All right, guys, you're doing great. The next one we're going to do are the kickbacks. Here we go, right into it. Kicking those legs back, option one, just the legs. Make sure your knees are pointing down. Option two, press overhead. Woo, all right, getting that heart rate up. We're almost there, you're doing such a great job. All right, looks good, looks good. All right, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Side step again. You may be feeling it in your hips at this point. <laughs> All right, great job. Now, if you notice that you're out of breath and you're really struggling, you're thinking, oh my goodness, Meg, what are you doing to me? <laughs> just know that you are just starting the new year now and this is going to get better. The more you do your cardio regularly, the more you go for walks, go up and down the stairs, it does get easier and you'll be less out of breath. You can ask any of my members, a lot of them have noticed that they're less out of breath than they used to be after doing these videos over and over again. Alrighty, that was a little bit of a longer break. <laughs> All right, here's our next one. Hand to your knee. Option one is this. Option two is elbow. Tighten up that core. Good. All right, I'm gonna keep going with the elbow to the knee. Breathing in and out. Going for 30 seconds. All right, awesome work. All right, doing great. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Take that side step again. Woo! All right. 
I got one more. One more, you guys. You can do this. All right, so we're going to continue with our side step. This time we're going to add the punch. Punching to the side. All right, awesome work. Those of you who are advanced, lift the knee to find that balance. Good. Now in my membership, I have both beginner exercises with options, and I have lots of videos for those who are advanced as well. And it is fun. You can really choose your level, choose the type of video that you do, and they're all available to be done at any time of day. I know we have one member who really likes to exercise late at night before he goes to bed. And then I have other women in the membership who love to exercise first thing in the morning. So the great thing is you can choose what works for you. All right, you guys, Woo! keep those feet moving. We're gonna do some nice, easy rolls of the shoulders. All right, check in and notice how you're feeling. Are you out of breath? Are you breathing a little bit heavier? Are you feeling good? Now the good news is when we exercise, we release healthy hormones called endorphins. And these are the, the, the hormones that make us feel really good. And this is what makes you exercise again and come and join me again for another workout. <laughs> Isn't that good news? All right, good job. Now let's do a quick stretch. We'll st uh, stand close to a chair or if you have a counter, take a big step, bend your front knee, and then stretch out the back of the leg. You can lean in, keep your back straight. All right, stretching the back of the legs. Good to do after a workout like this. Let's do the other side. Bend the front knee, take the leg back. Now, my fit tip of the day is to fit cardio into your day. So if you're doing something, like you're going shoveling, you've got to shovel the front, of your house, or maybe you, you are gonna go and uh, pick up the mail, or gonna go for a walk. Before you go outside, before you leave your house, do some cardio. And this is gonna be good, because number one, it's gonna warm you up, so you're gonna be warmer, especially if you've got the cold weather like me. And as well, is it's gonna loosen up those joints. So you're gonna be ready to do those things with more ease. Both feet facing the front of the room, bend into the knee, Good, hold it here, stretching the inner thigh, then switch to the other side. All right, so there you go. Fit cardio into your day. Five minutes is good. If you can get up to 10 minutes at a time and, and sprinkle it throughout the day, then that's even better. All right, let's come on up. Let's finish up with some breathing. Bring the arms up overhead and breathe out. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time. All right, good job. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your back and thank you for joining me for day four. I am excited. We've got one more day. I really hope you'll be joining me. Now, before you leave, remember to leave your name and where you're tuning in from and how you're feeling. Now, I'd love to know, was this challenging for you? If it was challenging, leave a one. If it was pretty good, but you still felt it, you still got that heart rate up, it's more than you're used to doing, you leave a two below. Uh, leave a three if this was great. You were ready, you feel great, you, uh, this was right, the perfect level for you. And then leave a four if you thought, you know what, I could do this all day long. <laughs> so leave a few numbers below with your, with your name and I am gonna see you guys tomorrow. So excited for our final day. All right, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you soon. Bye.